I just broke this nail, my pointer finger on this side, while doing the dishes. Does that ever happen to you guys where you're doing a chore or something and then you go and do something like break a nail and then you're like, well, F it, I guess I'm never doing the dishes again. Hi guys! So I am back today with a nail tutorial for you, as you can probably guess from this lovely array of polishes. Looks daunting, right? Yep, <laughs> because I haven't really tried this out myself, but I'm gonna give her a go. So here we go, the polishes in order of their appearance, like usual. Here's my favorite base coat from OPI. It's tried and true, and I love it, like I say in every single one of these polish tutorials. And then you're also gonna need a nice opaque black nail polish. This one is from NYC. I love these. I think they're like a dollar and 19 cents or something at Target. So hence, there's three of them in this tutorial. <laughs> um, they're really great. They work really well. And then you're also gonna need a couple blues. One is gonna be a light blue and another is gonna be a dark blue. Both of them, you should really have them with some sort of like a frosty finish. Uh, it just gives the illusion of a more galactical space adventure on your nails, I guess. So anything will do. I just really like these because they're cheap. And the NYC nail polishes actually dry really, really quickly. So that's always a plus too. And then you're also going to need some sort of a sheer pink. This one is Eternal Optimist from Essie. It's... I mean, as a nail polish, it's just okay, but for this tutorial, it worked great. So I would highly recommend this if you don't mind shelling out some money for it. And then also, I'm gonna be using this other Essie nail polish from the Lux Effects line. Uh, I forget what it's called, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna show it to you once I find where the sticker is. Bam, Shine of the Times. That is what it is called. It's got a really, really pretty reflux to it, which is perfect for this galaxy. I know most people just use uh, glitter, but I think the reflux gives it a bit more of a, oop, yep, I dropped it, oh well. But it just, it, it just, I don't know, it, it looks nice. <laughs> so, and then here's some glitter as well. We are just using this as an accent to make stars. So, this is Make You Smile by the Justin Bieber, Baby Bieber, Bieber, can I say Bieber again? Bieber collection. Uh, it's good. I love the snail polish for anything sparkly. And then here, if you saw my best and worst of July beauty video, you would know that I am loving this top coat. Thank you to my dear friend Dana again for introducing this to me. It is fantastic and totally worth the money that it costs. So. Here we go. You're also gonna need some some sort of a makeup sponge applicator. I don't have those wedges and stuff that most people tend to use, but I have these because I do nail art a lot, so <laughs> whatever. And then you're also gonna need some Q-tips. These are just for cleanup purposes, you know, cleaning around your nail bed at the end. I didn't use that many, but. <laughs> and then you're also gonna need some nail polish remover for those cleanup purposes as well. And then some aluminum foil. You don't need aluminum foil, but I had it and it works. <laughs> I just used this to um, blob the nail polish onto. So basically if you have a little piece of cardboard or a scrap piece of paper, that might be a little thin, but you know, aluminum foil works. So we're just gonna start off with a base coat on our nails to prevent them from yellowing and also to just give the nail polish a really nice smooth surface to glide onto. And true to the OPI base coat, it is dry right after painting. And then after that, you just wanna use your opaque black nail polish to create a really nice dark background. Uh, this particular nail polish, you need two coats, but then after that, you're, you're pretty solid. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I think I'm getting a cold, but you need to wait uh, for this to dry before you move on. But once it is dry, as you can see mine was, you're gonna wanna grab your aluminum foil or whatever surface you decided to blob your nail polish onto and then grab the light blue that you are going to be working with. And also one of your sponge applicators. 
So you just kind of want to dab a little bit of the nail polish out. You don't need to do a ton because you don't really need a ton for this tutorial. And here you can kind of see what we're doing. You just kind of want to dab it in the polish, not a lot, and then just lightly, lightly stamp it onto your nail. And you can see that I kind of rolled the makeup applicator um, after I put the first dollop onto my nail. That was just uh, so that I got the dry side of the applicator and it just kind of, uh, you know, evens it out and really disperses the nail polish pretty evenly. You don't have to be per perfect with this application. You actually want it to be pretty messy. Uh, you're going to be cleaning it up later, so it just looks more natural. And then you're going to want to take your dark blue polish and then kind of dab it off. You don't want this to be super... Uh, saturated on your makeup applicator and you're just gonna kind of cover up a lot of that light blue that you put on and this just kind of helps to fade this kind of nebula that you're creating into the black so it doesn't just look like you splattered some nail polish on and wanted to create a galaxy it actually looks uh, like it has a lot of depth and you know like a real galaxy and if you don't quite get what I'm talking about because I know I'm not the best explainer in the world you can just google uh, nebula or galaxy or you know whatever and then you can get inspiration from that and then while that dark blue is still a little wet on your nails you want to get out your sheer pink color and kind of blend that into just a couple spots on each nail where you just put that dark blue it'll kind of um, mix with it and turn it into a purple I know a lot of people when they do these uh, galaxy nail tutorials on YouTube they've got like 18 nail polish colors and I mean I know I have a lot as well but you know they do every single color of the rainbow which does happen in nebulas and whatnot but I just don't think it's necessary since if you blend the colors while they're still wet they end up creating most of the colors of the rainbow and then also with that um, Lux effects nail polish that I have, it'll create the reflux of the different colors of the rainbow. So, nice combo deal. So that's what they'll look like. They don't look perfect, they don't look that great quite yet, but we're getting there. So now you wanna, this is the magical part guys, so now you wanna take this uh, refluxy glitter and you're just going to put that on top of where you put any pink and kind of fade it out into the blue areas. You don't want to put this all over your nail, but just just a bit, as you can see me doing there. So there you go, that's what it looks like with the reflux. Uh, it kind of gives the illusion of stars and just a glittery, pretty galaxy, but to add to that, you can push your aluminum paper or whatever surface you were working on away now and grab your chunky glitter polish and open it up and then all you're going to be doing is right kind of along where you put that refluxy glitter just put a couple globs of this chunky glitter because this is going to create the illusion of large stars so you don't want a ton of this on each nail. It looks a bit more fake when you have a ton of them on. I kind of did that on a couple of mine and I'm not as happy with how they turned out as the nails where I did only a few. But, you know, they're just your nails. It's really no big deal if you mess up. <laughs> So there you go, that's what they'll look like with that chunky glitter on. Aren't they pretty? So once you're satisfied, you can grab your top coat and just slather that onto your nails to prevent any chipping because this is a work of art, people. You just created a masterpiece. You want to preserve that for as long as you can, right? Right? Yeah, you do. Look at that. Beauteous. I think. <laughs> so to make it look even more pretty, we're just going to clean up around the edges by dumping some of our nail polish remover into the cap of the bottle and just dipping in one end of a q-tip. And then you're just going to rub this underneath your nail and then around your nail bed. And this just kind of cleans up. It's just like a eraser going at a pencil on a piece of paper, except this works a little better than that. So makes things look nice. 
And then there you have it, guys. This is it. This is my version of the Galaxy Nails. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got a little bit of inspiration on different nail polishes you can use and some hopefully cheaper alternatives with the NYC nail polish. And yeah, let me know if you try this one out, if you've tried Galaxy Nails, and I will see you all next time. Bye!